Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I want to talk about batteries, um, the difference between lead acid and lithium, and especially lithium iron phosphate, the LIFEPO4. You've seen me talk about it here. Um, my solar system is halfway done. The powerhouse has most of the components in it, so I need to show you that. This is going to be a separate build. This is going to be just for backup water. Um, right now I have one of the power queens. Uh, in that other room, I have eight batteries of one brand and then four more. I think they're lozenges, but I'm going to go with Power Queens for the backup water. Uh, as the news is constantly stressing the importance uh, of that we might have power outages this summer, uh, I want to make sure that we're taken care of here on the homestead, and I want a separate system for the water. I don't want to have to, if, if there's an electrical fire or a fire, uh, it'll take out the power grid. Um, I might have to turn off my grid power, and then I don't want to have to rely just on the solar backup. I want to have two ways to power the backup water. One will be completely this, and the other one will have a component where I can plug it into the other system. But first, let's not get you all uh, on a tangent here let's talk about why lithium iron phosphate is the way to go for preppers for backup power a lot of people still talk to me about lead acid lead acid is outdated in my book it's uh, something that i was into i still have lead acid batteries because that's what i had when i started uh, thankfully my friend has just pushed me in the right direction uh, he's a solar expert and I wish he was here because he could really, well, he would geek out on you and some of you wouldn't understand like I do. Sometimes he talks and it just goes over my head. But let me tell you the basics for the layman, um, why you need to go with lithium iron phosphates. Uh, this is a power queen. It sells it on Amazon. Uh, I have one. I think I'm going to go two for the system, but you don't have to. You can go um, with a backup water supply or you can just use this system for backup power. These are some of the components I'm going to use. I'm going to explain it in a separate video. Let's just talk why do you go with lithium iron phosphate. First of all, lithium iron phosphate has probably a life expectancy of 10 years. Uh, lead acid is just a few years. The cycle life on a lead acid, it varies, but you're not going to get over 1,000. You'll probably get 500. Uh, lithiums, this one is 400 cycles. That means you can take it from 100 to 0 uh, 4,000 times. And I don't recommend you doing that. Um, take it down as low as you can, and, but get a charge on it. So typically the lithium iron phosphate is rated at whatever it's rated at, you get 100% of that. Lead acid is only 50% rating. Lead acid, some of them you have to do maintenance. This lithium right here, you have to do nothing. Now, most of the time you do need a special charger to charge lithiums uh, as a general rule. So if you get a charger at your house and you buy lithium, don't throw your charger on it. There are some exceptions, but overall, don't do it. A lithium will give you power constant, constant, constant. A lead acid starts perfect, but it's always in a decline. A lithium will go all the way over until it drops off. So you're going to get that same amount of power through the whole cycle. Uh, a lithium is definitely a quicker than the lead acid on the charging. And probably the biggest thing is the weight. Um, I have a lead acid battery. I was gonna bring it in here, but I would have to get my son to help me carry it. This I can carry, no problem. Um, it's heavy, but not even close. A lead acid um, is so heavy. Typically a lithium for the same size or same amount of power you're gonna have about 55% lighter. So it's very doable. When you have any type of battery, I took the post off these because I'm scared to death of my little ones dropping a tool on here or just touching it with metal. So safe, be safe. Um, inside this battery, there is a, it's sort of like a charge controller. It, it helps maintain the battery, it protects the battery. Um, a lead acid does not have that in. The Power Queen um, should run my backup water no problem. And you will see it I will build it in front of you. I will provide you with the information to build one just like mine. And I will also try to go on the more very affordable side and just 
show you what you need for a bare bone system um, so you know minimum amount of money to get you some backup water and that's going to be backup water if you already have a, a well um, and you can pressurize that well tank i will show you how to do with this there's many ways to get backup water but i want water when i turn the faucet in the kitchen uh, with the threat of the power grid having rolling blackouts this summer um, i don't want to have uh, no power i don't want to have no water pressure for me it's important to try to maintain the same style the lifestyle that we have now um, so if you got any questions about lithium to let us i will try to answer them if not i will direct, definitely direct them to my friend uh, he can definitely answer it but no more lead acid um, the reason I'll probably go with Power Queen instead of the other brand is they're cheaper. Right now, I think they're like $50 less. This is expensive. This is $657. But you compare that for a 10-year battery, um, and really you're going you could get definitely 10 more years out more years out of it if you take care of it. You don't um, with a lead acid, you don't want to go from a hundred down to thirty. That would be really detrimental to the life this battery can take that but typically if you can keep it above 50 percent this thing is going to be around a lot longer than 10 years if you got any questions put them down there uh, this is the first step you gotta what am i going to power my system with and it could be you might not want to do a water system you want might want to do an inverter and a little bit of power around your house and we can walk you through this i have a small inverter that i will be pairing up with this um, just because if I have the expenses in the in the battery and hopefully I'll get another one to have two I, I might as well add an inverter because I already have it so that way I can run some lights I can charge some radios uh, and just little stuff but this could be a start of you saying hey I want to build a system and you could start off with one battery and then you can definitely grow it 12 volt is definitely cheaper there's more stuff to run now if you're trying to run your refrigerator and all kinds of stuff you might want to take two 12 volts and make a 24 and I'll show you how to do that when you go up to 24 you become more efficient and if you come up to 48 volts it's definitely more but to do that you need four batteries to make the 48 I hope I'm not confusing anyone lead acid batteries are no for preppers for the homesteader for long term it's definitely the lithium iron phosphate is the way to go thanks for watching